we are picking up something awesome. We are gonna be taking off this tire. I'm gonna sell you this 2023 Great Dane trailer, 40 grand right now. Oh my goodness, what have we got ourselves into? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and we are back doing some weird stuff again. Weird stuff like rebuilding semi trucks and trailers. As you can tell from the title, we are picking up something awesome. I'm going to give you a quick background real quick. This is my 2017 Great Dane trailer. This is my father's 2021 Great Dane trailer. If you guys remember from the last rebuild episode of this trailer, I kind of gave you a sneak peek back there what was going on. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. We have almost completed the rebuild of this trailer. My father has been looking for whatever this thing is called. It's the rear frame with the doors. Guess what? The dealer wants about 15 grand for this piece of frame. It's insane. So my father's obviously been looking around. We we got some, <laughs> I know this stuff has changed. We got some junk laying around here. I think we have to go buy a salvage one, right? Exactly. And that's why we are here in Jacksonville, Florida. We have purchased a burnt Amazon trailer. Yes, probably in 2022 or 2023. It is pretty new and we're going to go get it. It is in Macon, four hours away, Macon, Georgia. And it is getting, what time is it? Uh, my time states that it is 6 30 p.m it is getting dark my father <laughs> is about to jump in the truck and we are heading out we're gonna go to macon we're gonna sleep there early in the morning we are taking up the burnt trailer and we are hauling it back home is it legal is it illegal you guys are about to see i think it is highly illegal what we're about to do but that's the name of the game also i wanted to show you guys this f-250 here it is a 2016 or 17 with 72,000 miles my father did <sighs> install the ox beam light bars just what i have all my semi this thing is going up for sale here soon we're going to be selling it for about twenty three thousand. it is going to be clean title obviously slight minor accident the whole truck is pretty much going to be repainted it is the work edition so there's like no carpet so there's like the rubber mats and all that great truck let me know if any of you guys want to buy it father is here we got a little bit of parts in there to fix the trailer pretty much before we haul it because boy it is damaged also we got a little bit of stuff over here i'll explain to you guys later we got four hours let's get rolling oh my goodness well, have we got ourselves into all the roof is ripped? There she is. Tow truck left landing gear down. All right. If you guys didn't know what we just did there, my landing gear's broken. It was just dropped like that. And we have to literally shimmy it under here. You guys won't believe it. I think I just caught a nail in this junkyard. I think it's, where is it gonna beep? It's not beeping yet, but oh my goodness. I hear something leaking here. Oh, I see it. Oh no. We're just trying to get this piece of garbage out of this yard. We're going to be parking it outside over there and then we're going to be doing all the airlines. Man, this thing is messed up, but it is for parts only. So it is what it is. Look at this. Look inside here. We didn't know the roof was cut out, but this is about to be an interesting ride. There she is, boys, out of the yard. We're not allowed to repair anything inside of the auto auctions yard, but we could drive out here and do slight repairs and head on our way. But this is it, 2023 Great Dane trailer. And it is for parts only. Oh, you're not gonna be fixing something like this. And you know me, I fix everything. Ooh, they even left, they left us a really nice couple load locks up here. These are really not, ooh, they left a half a scrap, awesome. The floor looks actually pretty decent. There's ants everywhere. We do got a plate on here, so that's good. Everything's burnt up, as you guys can tell right there. Looks like probably some port fire. And I'm saying that because some of these trailers, especially the intermodal ones, coming out of the port, we were thinking like, okay, so we need that frame piece back there with the doors and these tandems right here cost like five grand so we can sell those. But from the pictures, we couldn't tell if they were 
a leaf springs or if they were air ride, which you guys can tell what these are. These are not air ride, which is very bad. Well, price wise is bad, but it's all good. There's plenty of parts here. Even if it is leaf springs, it's not bad. All the tires are like brand new. So I do need a couple of those for my trailer. We did release all the brake chambers for us to move it, but to make this thing road legal, we do need to fix the lights. We are gonna do the wiring right now. We have a bunch of wiring right there. We just spice it into where the burnt part is. My father is doing that right meow. This thing's pretty horrifying, but it's gonna make it. Uh, the frame is solid, it still didn't burn. We need to secure everything with the load locks. I got my puncture right here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, right there. So that's great. We got some tools, we got some plugs. We're fixing everything on the go. This is gonna take us about an hour and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product before we roll out. Are you in a need of a great place to take your truck for service? If you're around the Western North Carolina area, I have the perfect place for you. Max Diesel Services does everything from oil changes to welding, tire balancing, hub bearing repairs, everything you can think of, they have the professionals waiting for you. With great prices, this family establishment is the right choice. Visit Max Diesel Services today. There's two ways to get to Jacksonville. One way is 16 and then the other way is 75. We're gonna try to take the 16 so DOT, you know, doesn't scare us too much. But I think it'll be fine, right? Yeah, he said yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's get some fuel real quick and check up on this trailer because I think it's still there. It looks like it's still there, yeah. So yeah, this is our wiring job right there to have the lights working. I haven't showed you guys, man, it's raining. It is raining, leaking everywhere. We got tail lights, check it out. I'm not gonna lie, we don't wanna have turn signals, but <clears throat> you know, who, who gotta know about that, right? Also, if you guys know what these are, yeah, um, we're legit. That's just all I want to say. Kind of burnt up on this side, but we're making it. We're about one hour from the house. We're going to make it. You see that chick engine light? I checked the engine and it's still there. So we're ready to go. We made it. Hey, I'm gonna sell you this 2023 20, Great Dane trailer, 40 grand right now. It has no damage, nothing. It's blue, we'll repaint it for you white. Deal? Sure. All right. Guys, just sold it, that's it. 40 grand, as is. The whole point of this trailer was for this rear end right here the doors are good it's gonna keep it this color he says it really doesn't matter he's gonna like the little two-tone mismatch type of deal this whole section right here is gonna get taken off and installed onto this trailer this trailer is unusable i know that i can pretty much rebuild anything rebuild rebuild that trailer rebuild so much semi trucks and stuff like that that one's coming soon don't worry about it this is very easy work for my father so he says he's gonna do it and i trust him on it all anyways this trailer is parts only it's not titled or anything like that you really can't save this thing there was really, there's really no point it is a 2023 but it is what it is you need the parts and it's going to be installed on this i'm not going to be doing a whole rebuild series on this one but the little parts here and there you guys do see during some episodes here and there but yeah we made it this thing made it sort of we're fixing the landing gear we're dropping it and that's it i guess other than me getting a puncture at the aia auctions or whatever it's called uh yeah we kind of uh stuck you know what i'm saying a thing in there for it not to leak and my sensors are doing their thing we weren't leaking any air but we are going to be taking off this tire and actually putting a patch on there because this is on legit ish it's not bad though also since uh our wiring was a little iffy 
I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all of my trailer lights are working because sometimes what happens is that when you plug it up and the, like the wiring is all iffy, it blows some of your fuses in your truck. So I need to confirm that all my fuses are good. And I know that I tell you how much we purchased items for, but on this one, I'm sorry, oh. there is no price reveal because we are gonna be parting this thing out after we get what we want from it and we're gonna be parting it out. I don't really want people to hit me up and know how much we purchased this thing for, but it's a lot. It's, it's obviously over a couple thousand dollars. It is a 2023 and yeah we paid a lot of money for our hunk of metal it just it is what it is but i hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a little sus for me but we do sketch stuff all the time so this is really not a big thing for us and like always stay tuned for more videos if you guys like trucking videos on the road me truck driving and look at new scenery subscribe do it now i appreciate it like always be blessed